Mm -mm. Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the bench. Do a nice little tobacco take video today. Not going to come out on my normal day, but hey, what are you going to do? Oh my, how are you guys doing? Our weather's finally breaking here a little bit. <clears throat> it wasn't uh, 90 degrees today, which is, you know, a bonus. Mm -mm -mm. So, this is a another video in the Custom Boutique Series. This is another blend from Emerson Southern Forged, and this is Satanic Panic. And I really wish that would focus in, but it's not. Bid on my little uh, inlay I do when I talk about it. I'll get a nice little little uh, jam in on that on that label because uh, Jim, <laughs> it's a pretty cool label. You got some demon fire breathing something or other. It's pretty neat. And uh, what am I smoking out of today? I'm smoking out of an older pipe that I have. It's an old Brigham 3 dot I've had for several years. And uh, it's a good pipe. It's got some fill marks and stuff. I didn't notice like when I first bought it. I bought it new. But uh, one of the few remaining Brighams that I have from when I first started smoking pipes, I got rid of several. Just weren't, weren't really what I was into. But um, I like this pipe and I pulled out a good bit. Mmm, 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 mmm. A little bit of tobacco run through there. Satanic Panic from Emerson Southern Forge. I'll tell you one thing about it real quick, which I think I go over in my notes like 10 times. It is a plug that when you cut and rub it out, it will rub out very fine. My chair squeaking. And so you do have to watch that you don't rub it out too much or it will get super fine and kind of powdery. And you have to watch how you pack it because if you, it's not like a typical ribbon, it's not a bigger cut, it's not like a flake. Um, if you pack it too tight, you're not gonna have good smoke. So I just kind of sprinkle in, tap the bowl, give it a little touch, do that a couple times. But once you figure out your packing method with this blend, it will reward you. So I got some notes here. Satanic Panic is made up of Latakia. It's a Latakia Ford blend. That is what's listed on Jim's blend list. It has Bosma and Krumengrad. I think you say it. Krumengrad, Krumengrad, Krumengrad. But this blend was made... Oh, yeah. This blend was made for Mike from Pipe and Tamper. So, no Virginia's anywhere to be seen because Mike's not a Virginia smoker. So, I understand. Which also means that this blend smokes super cool, it's super smoky, and it's got a little bit of a kick. And it's a it's a pretty stellar blend. Um, oh, while well, I have it here, like, subscribe, share the video around, share the channel around. Got some new stuff coming out. I just put out an uh, RV video, which I don't do a lot of RV videos, but I did a deep cleaning on the roof. And it's been about a year since I put the flex seal on there, and it cleaned up super nice. Um, I squirt it off, you know, get the debris off and stuff like that. But usually once, twice a year, I really get down to it and hands and knees with a sponge and, uh, come out really good with that video I put out, uh, today or yesterday. So give that one a check. Maybe I'll stick a card for it there. And, oh, I also want to thank everyone who watches my channel. I have one video. I made it about a year ago and I blended my own you know, tobacco blend, and I put it in my little pasta press thing, and I did that, and I made a video when I popped it out, and I showed the process of taking it out, and I chopped some up, and then I packed up a bowl and had a nice smoke with you guys. Well, that video has just hit 10,000 views. <laughs> hey, I, I gotta say thanks for that. I mean, 10,000 views. Wish I could spread that out over all my videos, but I really appreciate it, and thanks a lot, guys. And if you guys haven't seen it, I'll leave a little card to that video right there. And go check it out. It's just me popping out some uh, pipe tobacco that I blended, which I do believe I have it over there on the bench. It's actually a really good blend. And uh, it talks about pipe. Oh, also, check out Jim and Tim's new podcast. I do believe episode four or five dropped on Monday. And I get a nice shout out in there from them guys. Thank you. I submitted some questions. And uh, it's called Pipe and Tobacco Talk. And it's now on iTunes. And it was just on YouTube. 
But I do like iTunes. I don't use Spotify, but I like to listen to podcasts in the cars while I'm driving. And like you, uh, I don't like to use YouTube to do that. But that's about all the little notes I have. And holy crap, we're five minutes into this already. We haven't even talked about the tobacco. Excuse me. Mm -mm. All right, on to the book. Mm -mm -mm. Emerson Southern Forge Satanic Panic. The cut is a plug. The tin, oddly subdued. Nothing is very strong. It's really reserved tin note to this one. And I thought it was a little different when I was first got it, but... It's it's something different. You guys, if you haven't tried this, if you haven't got a hold of Jim, get Satanic Panic. And I did make a note on the color. I said the color is different. It's black, and it has a bunch of light brown speckles in it. And right about now, I probably have my little video inlay. I zoom in there. It does. It just has a different consistency. I don't know if it was the cut uh, that Jim did, but this blend, it's a little different. And I, I don't know. I think it works. Ah, uh, my first entry, I said, mmm, just a bunch of M's. I said, floral, smoky. It has an incense retro hail, which I thought was kind of a little different. It was a little, and I don't know if you're getting that from the Bosma or the Krumengrod, but uh, it does have a little bit of a different flavor to it, a nice different. The Lataki is nice and upfront. I said, it smokes cool and smooth so far. Okay, past halfway, and it is so smooth. No bite, nothing. An outstanding blend. I can't wait to smoke more. Uh, I was smoking it out of my bones pipe down here in the shop, and I said it has a lovely smoky flavor. It burns cool, no bite. I said I'm still getting that incense flavor, and it's kind of nice. It has, it just, it just has this, I don't know, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. I said, the room note is strong, and by that, this isn't a sweet aromatic or like, you know, something that's going to fill the room with, I think, the mental picture of what people think a uh, tobacco pipe should smell like. This is a little strong, so if people aren't really into pipe tobaccos, this one, if you're smoking it, they might get a little, huh, what are you smoking? But it's well worth it. I said, now, when I cut and rubbed it out, it turned into a fine crumble. I said, watch it or it will get super fine, too fine. I said, I don't think this is a blend for the new pipe smoker because it does, it requires a little bit when you rub it out to get the right consistency, how you're going to pack your pipe. And it has a flavor punch that's, it, it's it's intense and I, and I, and I do like it. Uh, a lot more of that. And I was smoking it out of my bent basket pipe, which is a favorite. And I said, it is just, an all-around great blend from start to finish. I said it's smooth and very flavorful. When you cut the plug, remember, do not rub it out too fine. I said because if you do overdo it, it's going to get super fine, almost powder fine. And uh, that, that's uh, probably one of my biggest notes for uh, this blend. Definitely watch how you rub this blend out because... It, it'll get you and I did it a couple times where it got a little too fine but I packed it up and then did a little draw test and sucked in a, <laughs> sucked in a bunch of uh, tobacco flakes oh it's Friday night I'm having a glass of wine mm, mm, mm. Ah, very good wine alright excuse me Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness. That's it. See on that retro hill, I'm getting this little bit of incense, a little, I can't come up with the word. I don't want to say extravagant. It's, uh, it, it just, it's interesting. It's it's ex not exquisite. It uh, I don't know. To me, to me, it just has some mysterious properties to it. Like it's some you know crazy blend from 
uh, you know, over in the Far East somewhere that they smoked up on a mountain or something. Hmm. Oh, it's very nice. When I'm not talking and making one of these videos, I don't have to do so many relights. But, of course, I am talking, so i got to relight a little bit. Um, trying to keep the videos under 10 minutes, but hey, it's Friday night. I'm relaxing. I usually put the videos out on Fridays. I didn't do one last week. We'll talk a little bit. Um, because I just didn't feel like doing it. <laughs> I was kind of busy. I was doing some stuff, and then I realized that one... I didn't cut my grass on the day I usually cut my grass, and two, that I didn't uh, make a make a pipe video. Oh, matchsticks from the bench. I'm gonna give this three and a half to four because this blend's pretty pretty kick ass. Um, I want to get some more. And talking about Jim and Tim's uh, podcast, they were just talking about this about cellaring. One of the questions was about cellaring tobaccos, and Jim was talking about how. The Latakia, the Balkan blends, the Englishes. Um, you can sell them. Sorry, my allergies are killing me. You can sell them, but they're not going to change the way a Virginia is going to change. Um, in fact, the Latakia is probably going to start getting absorbed and it's going to mellow some, but it's not going to change the way the Virginia has changed uh, when you age them. And if you haven't seen the podcast, watched it or listened to it, go, go give it a listen. And I'll leave all the links to everybody down below um, so you can check out. Um, Emerson Southern Forged, and do you hear that? <laughs> My wife texted me. I have chicken. I have to vacuum seal, and I've been trying to do it for three days, and I keep forgetting that I have to do it. So she just texted me and said the chicken's in the black freezer. So I think after I have this pipe, I'm going to be going upstairs and vacuum sealing some chicken. Anyway. Satanic Panic, three and a half matchsticks to four from the bench. If you haven't tried, uh, hit up Jim at Emerson Southern Forged. I'll leave all his information down below. And also, if you have a blend in mind, um, if you haven't ever talked to Jim, really good guy, just uh, contact him, you know, DM him through Instagram or something. And if you say, I have an idea of a blend, he's probably going to get into it and he'll hook you up and he'll make, he makes some very nice blends. And... What do I have coming up? Oh, I got some more other Emerson Southern Forge stuff coming up. I also have some LJ Peretti Company blends that I've been getting into. Very nice. That's coming up in the future. Well, hey, I'm going to enjoy my wine. I'm going to enjoy my pipe. And apparently, I'm going to vacuum seal some chicken. Well, hey, this is Noah. Thanks for stopping by.